The plan is simple. I'm crafting all 893 Pokemon. The order is random and viewer requested, and I'm creating with paper. Hi everyone, and welcome to Amy's Art House. Today we have a bit of a Halloween special. I wanted to make Spinarak. I think it's a super cute little spider, and I thought it would be perfect for Halloween. And I hope you guys enjoy. So you can tell the papers that I picked are a little bit brighter than the game art. Uh, the whole the whole tone I get from it is very, very vivid. It feels kind of like 1970s, 1980s to me. I don't know. Uh, but it turns out really, really cute. I'm so happy with this one. Um, I hope that everybody's Halloween plans, whatever they may be this year, go well. Uh, I think I might watch some Twitch streamers. There's a couple of them that are doing like Halloween charity streams, so that might be fun to watch. Because uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going anywhere, so <laughs> I'll probably do that. Uh, so you can see I have hole punches to make several different sizes of circles for Spinarak, including his main body, his eyes, and the little spots on his back. Uh, and the rest I am tracing and cutting by hand for like the pinchers, the horn, and the other markings on his back. I have started to work on the set of November Pokemon. For November, I am doing a lot of rock types to solidify myself for winter. So look forward to seeing some of those. If you have any suggestions for rock type Pokemon that you'd like to see, please let me know down in the comments. I try to get to as many requests as I can. Uh, I think a day or two ago, I made Shield on, and I was really stressed out that day, and you can almost see it in its eyes. Like, it just absorbed that stress and it just- <laughs> he looks stressed. <laughs> but I think when I made Spinarak, I was in a pretty good mood. I mean, he looks pretty cheerful. He's got little hard eyes. He's having a good day. I was probably having a good day, so... <laughs> oh. I am taking some time off work soon so that I can get through more Pokemon. I really would like to hit 100 Pokemon before 2021, so we will see if I can make that happen. I recently bought some binders to put them all in. Right now I have some they're like scrapbook journals from Michaels, uh, but the problem is that they're kind of small. So I got some binders and once I reach 100 Pokemon I will sort them and put them into the binder in Pokédex order. Uh, right now you can see that I'm doing the stripes for his his legs. They're kind of near where I, I, I want to say knees, but do bugs and spiders have knees? <laughs> uh, or oh, I used to be such an entomology kid and I should know the anatomy, but I don't. Oh, anyway, anyway, about the Pokédex though. Yeah, so I'm order I'm gonna organize everything in the order of the Pokédex. And I realized with the Crown Tundra expansion for Sword and Shield, I think there's more than 893 Pokémon now, so I'm going to have to update my intro again. <laughs> but they haven't updated the official Pokédex yet, so when they update that, I will go through and update everything. Right now, the Pokémon website is still saying 893. But I'm sure it's more than that now. <laughs> as much as I want new Pokemon games to play, I also kind of dread them making more Pokemon because it's more that I have to make. I enjoy doing it, it's just it's a it's a lot. It's a lot of Pokemon. Oh, also thinking about November, would anyone want to see Appleton? I think that's its name. There's these ones from Sword and Shield that look like an apple pie, and I kind of I kind of think I should make that for my end of November Pokemon. Let me know. Let me know if you think that one's cute. I think that one's super cute. Uh, so next I used a small hole puncher to cut out some really tiny bits of teal, and that's just to kind of show some shading on his legs. Because in the game art they're a little bit lighter where his legs bend. And I love the background paper I have for this. It's little jars with eyeballs and newts, and it looks like something straight out of a witch's cabinet. Which is really amazing. I have used up a lot of my Halloween papers, uh, so I'm really, really glad 
that I stuck with it this month and that, that I purchased those because it was such a good investment. It was like $5 for 50 sheets and I've made so many Pokemon with them. For washi tape, I have this really pretty sparkly tape and then a striped tape. Was I able to get that fabric tape to work? I don't remember. But sometimes that one I can't get the backing off of. I tried to use it for another Pokemon recently and it did not work. It's okay, I only paid 50 cents for that roll of fabric washi tape, so not a huge deal. It did not work, so I switched to this fabric washi tape instead. I really wish that they still made uh, like the solid fabric washi tape. Not the not the lace type, but the solid fabric. It's so strong and I just never find it in stores anymore. If this is your first time here, um, hi, I'm a washi tape fanatic. <laughs> I love washi tape. I, I'm obsessed. That's why they're in every single one of my videos. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm wrapping up here making his head pop off the page with puffy stickers. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you again soon. Bye!